Hey guys, welcome back. We're starting a match now between Louis Ulrich and George Michaels. It's going to be a race to eight. This is on the one loss side, I think. Um, and we're about to start the lag. Here we go. Winner side. This is a winner side match, folks. And Louis gets the break. And in Louis' first match uh, yesterday, <laughs> he made four nine balls on the break on this table. Uh, they were all down in the bottom two pockets. Uh, so they didn't count. They were all pulled back up. But uh, Louis really knows the break well on this table. And uh, I expect to see some really uh, some really quick, fast plan here on on this this particular match. That should be good. You're you're good. Yeah, nah, nah. Just go with that. Yeah. Uh, joining me is going to be Scott White, friend of Louis. How you doing, Scott? I'm doing pretty good. Did the match start? Match just started. Louis just got the first break. Made a ball. And yeah, it doesn't look like he's, he's going to have any trouble uh, getting out here. No trouble balls, just except for maybe getting on the four. <laughs> yeah, I was just mentioning to the audience that uh, Louis made fall, four nine balls on the break in the first match he played mm -hmm. on this table. Oh, you know, by the way, uh, I really like the rule that they've adopted for this tournament, you know, spotting the nine if it goes in the bottom two Yeah, the bottom two uh, pockets. You know. This game should be more about running out, not pocketing one ball on the break and, you know, conceding yeah, the game. playing it out and, yeah. you know, sort of dominating. That's why a lot of the players like, not, uh, you know, like 10 ball over 9 ball. Mm-hmm. And that extra ball makes a big difference, so. Yeah, well, the there goes the first one. Break and run from Louie. It's going to make it 1-0. For those of you just joining me, and uh, joining us actually in the audience, this is uh, day two of the Chet Ito Memorial Tournament here at California Billiard Club. Joining me is Scott White, a Otherwise, friend of, the final friend of day. Louis Ulrichs, and he's a great, he's a good friend of Louis, a pretty good player too, who plays out in Bellflower mostly. Sometimes. Well, sometimes I play well. <laughs> Uh, we're in the private chat room here, and that's okay. uh, Scott's going. See the see, see the nine ball. Yeah, but you know what? That's not good to lock up that pocket like that. He, he you know, you, you don't want that. You want the nine ball in the middle of the table or anywhere but. This is going to be tough to hold the uh, cue ball after cutting this one, and. I mean, if he, uh, he he might make it and come up and hit the four, I'm thinking that's probably the shot he's going to try. Yeah. Oh, okay. It wasn't as sharp a cut as I thought. That's a beautiful cue he's playing with. That's the that's the Witzel cue. Yeah, right? Dave Witzel. Dave, Dave Witzel, Witzel sponsors yeah. him. Uh, Dave Witzel makes great cues. He's in the. Um, 
the blue book of uh, pool cues. He has a number of cues in the in the blue book of cues. Mm -hmm. um, he really, I mean, you know, he's very anal about his cues, about the wood that he uses, the material, the cues, you know, where he measures stuff out and how straight it is and right. the weight and the balance. He's real anal, so you're gonna get you're, you're gonna get a really good playing cue from him. He's not just gonna put it together and say, "Here you go." Mm -hmm. Uh, Fuji Warrenel in the uh, Warrenel in the oh, hey, Neil. chat room's asking if you uh, played in this I, event. I did. I lost my first match um, to a man posing as a woman, and uh, <laughs> then um, I what went all that? I went all the way to the uh, all the way through the bracket and had to play Perica to get into the cast, and I lost. I was uh, exhausted. It was one thirty in the in the morning, and it was about two hours past my bedtime because I'm just not a young kid anymore. Okay, so <laughs> going yeah, back to what you bubble, uh, bubble opened stuff. up with here. What? Oh, I'm not going to elaborate on that. A woman, a man posing as a woman? Yeah, he's a nice guy. <laughs> he, he, he was a really nice guy. Um, Korean kid, I think, I don't even know where he plays from. Has a real nice cog. Has like a tw uh, about a thirty-two hundred dollar cog. Okay. He's playing with. Well, look at that. Just like that, it's. Uh, oh, Neil's still it's in. It's breaking uh, run time for Neil, Louis. you're still in uh, Hawaii. Cool. You enjoying yourself? You you. It was a good move for you. Pearl City. You still like it? It's a good move for you. Pearl City, was that? Yeah. I like the name of that. I like the sound of that, Pearl yeah. City. Yeah. Well, you're playing in Hawaiian Brian's room. I mean, that's pretty much the only uh, room in Waikiki, right? Yeah, Spanky, you're right. He doesn't want the nine ball going anywhere near the pocket. He wants it on the bottom rail or anywhere but near the pocket. Yeah, that's the only room. Yeah, I, I played at Hawaiian Brian's about mm, 17 years ago, maybe. Mm. No, no action. I mean, I wasn't looking for action. I was just there on vacation. Okay, George, George is uh, oh. sort of taking. No, a look. I was. Um, He's looking at Louis Rack because uh, he, uh, he might have heard that Louis had made all those nine balls in the rack he played. You know, Louie doesn't rig his rack. He's just, he's just really... No, that's, that's a better break that. right there. Come on, hold up in the pocket. There you go, he's out. Um, he's just really consistent with the break, especially on this table. Well, he's, he, he only breaks about 70%. Seriously, he, he doesn't break 100% anyway. Mm. It's way more important to hold your cue ball than to uh, hit the balls hard. Actually, we should take a look at uh, yeah, Louie's uh, stats Louis, on pool tracks uh, Louis, for this Louis, venue. Let's Louis see. did have a huge break. Uh, he, he probably breaks at about 24, 24, 25. No, no, no. He still can break 34. He just doesn't. He only breaks at about 70% because he's more concerned with his cue ball. What do you mean by 34? 34 MPH? Yeah. Miles per hour? Yeah. Okay, he, uh, he got a little funny on the five ball here. He's going to have to go around. I don't think he's... Is he going for it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he's Louie. He's Louie. He's going for it. Oh, no, he's going to make the shot. It's just a matter of... Now he's got to probably play below the seven. He's going to play two rails. The, on the other uh, side maybe, of the seven. Maybe three. Yeah, oh. he played three to play below the seven. He's okay. I mean, this is a really tough spot for George to be in. Um, oh, well, that was good George is ball. not going to play safe here because he's going to leave the cue ball dead in the middle of the table. He's going to have to go for the cut. I mean, he, you know, and if he overcuts it, the six ball comes back up towards the side and the cue ball's on the other rail. Thank you, Louie. Louie just waved hello.
Well, Scott, it's nice to have you come and visit me here. Yeah, I just happen to be uh, strolling around and... Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't do better in this event. Oh, no, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm happy with uh, how I'm playing right now. I'm, you know, it's a process and uh, getting back into the game, it's kind of a struggle. But we got Dale and Amar Kang up next on deck. That'll be a great match. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see... Uh, oh... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, scratch by Louis. Gives up ball in hand to... Uh, I'm guessing George has George. about a 70% chance of getting out here. 70, you think? I think he's about 85. Oh, is he playing with a... Is he playing with a cog? He plays with a cognoscenti. I didn't know that. Really? So does, mm -hmm. uh, so does Barbara, the barbecue. She yeah. plays with a cog. That might be my old cog, actually. Really? You sold You sold one? I've had a few. Oh, d have you? Yeah, I've had some high-end cogs. What are you playing with these days? A Scott? cog. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I love, I love the joints. The, the joints are really, the way they just screw, they're so tight. Yeah, they're, uh, they're good cues. They, uh, they, you know, if you like a soft-hitting cue, like a Southwest, or that's really what, you know, all I've ever played with is Southwest. I played with a Bobby Hunter for a couple of years, which... Mm -hmm. It's really just a copy of a cog. Uh, Cogs and Southwest are my favorite cues. And old tads. You mm. know, my carded joint or phenolic joint tads. You know, not the metal joint tads. They're, they're fantastic. Yeah, Kenichi, uh, you know Kenichi Uchigaki from Japan? Mm-hmm. He plays he with like... A, he just bought a new Tad. Yeah, but he plays with like a 25-year-old Tad, too. He's got, mm. he's got No, he just got that. No, he, he, last year oh. he had another one that was like 20, 25 years oh, old. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Tad's been making cues a while. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh... I would have loved to have won that Tad Cup last year. Oh, Kenichi year. was out there? Yeah, he's cool. He's, uh, he's a fun guy to roll with. Hey, Neil, are you still playing or are you not doing anything? Oops. Excuse me. I'll get back to that. Just got to... Playing a little. Mm. Nice break from George. He looks like he's going to mm. have a clear shot on the one. Do they have like regular tournaments out there? Or? Uh, okay. My email's on Facebook. Well, let's see. George has a pretty tough way to go here. If he can uh, hold the cue ball and play the two in the same corner he's playing the one in. Um, Looks like what he's trying to do. Yeah, that's... That's good. That was a nice touch. He, he got there. Now he's got to hold the cue up. Four or five. Five go past the seven, though. So he's got to get uh, below that, the five, too. Yeah, that's going to be his problem area right there. Um... And honestly, unless he gets five. his unless he gets his cue ball on the right side of the three, there's yeah. not really a way to do that without going uh, four rails really hard. Yeah, at this well, I was yeah. gonna say I'd give him forty percent chance. E even so, he's almost. Look at this. No, that's fine. That's a nice way to miss a ball. No, that's fine. Um. I mean, Louis can uh, go two rails, uh, send the two ball over to between the seven and the five. Oh, no. okay. Oh, it just thins it. No, I didn't know he could see it. Creates some distance. He didn't hook him exactly, but... No, that's... What do you like here? You like uh, maybe really? burying the cue under the eight? Oh, what do I like for a shot? Yeah. Now? Yeah. No, I'm going to... If I can get on the right side of the two, but... Um, Feather it. No, that's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good at all. 
Well, actually, though, if you look, no, Louis doesn't not, have he, a lot of room to kick into this. No, no, it's not any good at all for Louis. He, oh, yeah. Um, the three's in the way to go rail first to make the two. To go on, and the eight ball blocks him to go on the right side of the three. I think. Looks like he's. No, okay, looks like, looks he's, like going. he's getting past it though. No. Ooh. Oh. No. We still got the same problem he had before. He's got to get below the five, and he's going to run the five down the rail. So. Yeah, we're back to that issue. Got an angle. Yeah, yeah, no, he can he can get there, but if he can bring the cue, if he, you know, like basically close to the, the, cl ball. the clutch shot of this uh, rack is getting on the three. If he, I mean, getting on the five off the three. If he can do that, then he he should pretty much be out. Oh, and he bumped it. He bumped yeah, it. Yeah, now he's, it's now he's gonna play safe. Um, I think Kevin. Oh, who won that match? Yeah, Ke Kevin. Ke Kevin. Ke Kevin, Kevin May won. just won. The other his guy match. got to six. Who is the other guy? Um, I do not know his name. Kevin May just won his next match, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, Louis Scott and Kevin May all came, came together down. with Hillary Morse. With Hillary Morse. Yeah, she I, she tagged along. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he took that shot, but that's... Oh, okay, wow. Well, that was a good safety. Not really a two-way. I guess he wasn't trying to make the seven. Um, basically... Neil, we will uh, tell Hillary you said hi when we see her. She actually uh, took off this morning with Dave Hemma and uh, Mark she? Whitehead. They left. They left this morning. But I'll tell him you say hello. I see him often. And Louis just fouled. Uh, uh oh. I don't. I can't tell if the five goes. Yeah, Neil. I'll, I'll definitely do that. Well, it looks like the five goes. I can't tell from here. Oh. Yeah. Well, he got on a good angle here, so uh, George should be able to close this out. Oh, thank you. George elected to go back and forth here. Puts him in a kind of a precarious situation. He, you know, there's potential mm. for a mistake here. He's you know, really, maybe for me. <laughs> <laughs> for me. You know, these table, the, the corner pockets look big, but they, they do play a little tight because the way they're they cut. They do. They do play tight. You know, this Jamie's Anything's coconut. missable. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta love the pool player community. <laughs> yeah. No, Neil. The uh, the room's pretty consistent. Um, they got about twenty tables that are all uh, they all play about the same. The uh, 
the pockets are cut where the corners aren't going to take a ball down the rail unless you hit it, you know, hit it real well. Mm -hmm. they, they don't play that big. You know, they play like somewhere between four and a quarter and four and a half inch, you know, cut pockets. Yeah, I think they're close to four and a half. Um, well, I've been told four, four and an eighth. These are four and an eighth? Mm -hmm. No. Really? That's what I've been told. Okay, well... I, I'm I'm used to playing at hard times where the pockets are all four and an eight, uh, and then the two tables are four. You know, I had Oscar uh, in so, the booth with me for. A, did he for a say while. they were four and an eight? I should I should have I forgot to ask him. Hmm. You know, but I know uh, they've been Dominguezed. Yeah, they. Uh, if they built out the rails, I mean, they might be four and an eight. They might be. I'm just used to playing on such tight pockets. Uh, I thought they were a little bigger. Is that Ernesto still playing uh, Amar? Or yeah. No, not Amar. No, 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 no. Who won that match, do you know? Mm -mm. Ernesto and Amar? I don't know. Chris. Chris. Who won the uh, Ernesto Amar? Well, he's probably going to bring the cue ball down below well, the uh, Ernesto Dominguez safe. beat uh, Amar Kang. Mm, okay, two-way. Ernesto beat Amar? And yeah, I, Ernesto beat good. Amar. Ernesto's playing really well. Who lost sound? Little Bata? Are we talking about Efren? No, that's uh, Rafael Martinez Bata. playing in yeah, the back. Yeah, Ra Rafael's back here. and uh, Oscar and Alex are playing a little snooker right now. Yeah, there's... Eh, yeah, I guess there's two rooms. There's the one that's sectioned off that's uh, eight, one, two, no, six, no, eight tables, two snicker tables, and a three cushion table. That's like the player's area. And then uh, the rest of the room has one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know, like 16 tables in the non-tournament players area. I think there's about 24 tables yeah, here. Yeah, but the, as far as I can tell, all the other tables are cut the same way. And uh, there's probably another uh, eight or nine bar boxes as well here. Yeah, they're not nearly as big as Danny Kay's. All right, Louis is going to play safe here. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, that's okay. Worked out for him, but... Uh, yeah, no, this is no good, though. I mean... He's got to really stroke this to come back for the five. He will probably just draw straight back, pull it back a couple feet if he can, and then he's out if he can get back uh, for a cut on the five. If he... Um. If you can't tell well, it's, from the picture, if the, the cue ball, ball was about is three inches further forward, ball. he'd have a better uh, stroking angle on the cue ball. This is a little steep to be drawing back as much as he wants. He looks pretty resolute here. What's the score? Score's two to two. Two to two. All right, I think I'm gonna step out of the booth and Stop let Barbara. Take a walk. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna take a walk. So. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for coming in. Hey. Take care, Neil. I'll be sure and pass a hello on to everyone in uh, in LA for you. Okay. <laughs> Scott White, everybody. 
I'm sure uh, next time you're in Bellflower, he'll be happy to give you action. All right, George is now about to take a one-game lead on Louis here. Score's going to be 3-2 to two to George Michaels. All right, I'm back. How you doing, Barbara? I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm doing real well. And we are going to have a one-loss side match after this. That's right. Oh. Going to be Dale Alpahora versus Amar Kang. That'll be exciting. I love watching Amar. More learning opportunities. Had a great talk with Oscar. Yeah, it was really nice having Oscar Dominguez join us in the booth there. Absolutely. He's during welcome. Arturo Rivera's match. Class act. With John Henderson. <sighs> So how's, uh, how's Louie hitting them here? Well, it is going to be three games to two. George Michaels is up one. All right. And very early. Yeah. Lu Louie opened up very strong. He, he broke and ran two racks in a row. And nice. Look at this safety. Uh, wow. And now it looks like he's poised to take con uh, back control of, of the match here if he can. Yeah, George just gave him a nod of... Uh, Giving him props for that shot. Yeah, well, if he can get a good shot after this safety. Look at this. Oh, just there you go. missed it. He's going to get a great shot after this safety. Sure is. Although. Ah, he's all right. Okay. That four ball's kind of uh, in a funny place there. Now, he didn't really w want to run into the four there because uh, that really messed up his shape on this two. Wanted to avoid running into the four, but I knew that that was sitting kind of funny down there. Oh, what a great shot that was. Just like kabam, no problem. He's struggling a little bit, though, because, uh, you know, he just is leaving himself some real tough uh, stuff here. And now he's going to have to draw back, hold this cue ball for this four ball. Oh. And he went for the um, opposite pocket. And, well... The only good thing about this leave is the fact that the cue ball is going to be headed up in a funny position if he goes for this three in the corner. And he's got to get on the four. So there are options, however, though. He could bank this three. I don't know that he has the angle to go into the six or that he would want to. When he's looking at the options right now, let's see what he does. See what he figures out outside the box. Scratching his head. Oh well, boy, Whoa. was that not an interesting shot? All right. Well, he's lucky to be able to see this four. That's all I got to say. He really put the juice on that cue ball. Let's 
I didn't see that shot coming. And now he, uh, I don't know whether he was, I, I think he was trying to play safe and uh, the four ball came over and hit the tit. And that's several times now I've seen balls hit the tit on this left-hand side pocket. Now left uh, Louie a open table here. It's making a little bit of a face. All right, I'd like to welcome to the chat room, uh, Mr. Jay Helfert. Jay Helfert's in the house. How hey, are you, Jay. Jay? Thanks for coming on in. Very good to have you here. We're having a POV pool party here this weekend in Mountain View. Yeah. Louis is uh, trying to keep the pressure on George Michaels, but George is making a go at it. He's now up stroke. three games to two against Louis, and Louis about to tie stroke. it up. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh. He didn't want to run into that nine, that's no, for sure. Oh, that nine ball was looming. Well, he's still got a little work. Not not, not a big task for Louie, but, uh, mm. you know, whenever you're, whenever you've uh, gotten yourself into certain pre precarious positions, it's... Uh, Great shot. Yeah. Great. Uh, Very nice know, out. Nice clearance. I'm and still, so I'd like make to find out from George, though, about that other shot. I'm going to ask him later. Yeah, sure. That's going to make it three to three. Race to eight here. Double elimination. This is on uh, the winner's side. Winner's side. So Absolutely. neither of these guys are going to be out if, uh, if uh, you know, who, depending on who loses, they're still going to be in this tournament. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors. Kamui. Tips and Billiard Supplies. And, and now oh. we can say Kamui Louie. Well, I don't know because it could be Louie Kamui for all I know. Aha. Uh -huh. All righty. Also, I'd like to thank Pool Tracks uh, for, providing this, yeah, for providing statistics on all these players. All right, we got a... Uh, Ball down ball on, on the, the break. break, but the four and the eight looks complicated, so. Seven ball down. I think he's trying to just take care of it now. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh Look, boy. Look, he just hooked himself. Wow. You know, I think he just shot that a little fast. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. You know? I was thinking that, too. He just sort too. of went, oh, here, I'll, let me do this. Yeah. Without kind of fully figuring out the stroke that he needed to put on it. Yeah. Well, you know, Louis doesn't take a lot of time to, oh, well, that's you know, true. He doesn't need to. He's a really good player, very well, you know, poised and... All right, what's he going to uh, do here? It's he's just moments like this, you know, He's going to tie this ball up. He's going to put this four right up by this two. Because the two is already in kind of a funny position. He did not get there. No, he didn't. So not now it's up to, to George to finish this off. Speaking of Kamui, Kamui is going to be handing out free tickets to a surprise flash mob that uh, John Bertone will be organizing. What an interesting word. Be sure when you go to the billiard, the Super Billiard Expo this year to visit Kamui's booth and get your free ticket to the flash mob that will be happening. I don't know when. I it's don't either. Gonna, you know, uh, this it's is a all secret. A big mystery. So it is a secret. We're sworn to secrecy. Yeah, but but you are all instructed to go and get your ticket for the flash mob. And that was our job. So, yeah, promote Instruct. the flash mob. And if you don't know what a flash mob is, well, I guess go on YouTube and do a search for flash mob. You'll probably see a couple of good little short videos on flash mobs. All right, now George was just willing that cue ball to come at least one more rotation to get onto this four, and it just didn't quite get there. So now he's uh, a little bit slumped over the table here trying to figure out, okay, what do I do from here? Yeah, he got out of line here, so. Yeah. Well, he just, he just you know, babied it, the stroke a little bit on that shot and just didn't get there. Mm -hmm. 
Gonna masse around this a little bit. See if he can't come up with a safety. Well, he came Pretty up with something. Pretty darn good. Pretty yeah. darn good from there. Trying to put the pressure a little bit on Louis here. Well, this is no gimme. I, you know, well, I, I, I I'm he's suspecting gonna he's going to play right safety. Back. Try to bring it right behind the right eight. Right behind the eight, absolutely. That's a great shot. And I, th I think he he really butted up against that eight too. Yeah, I don't. I don't exactly know if George. what he wanted to do. I don't know if George is going to hit this. Well, I'd bet you a dollar, but I'm all out of dollars. Look no at that. hits. Yeah, he went straight into the corner pocket. It looked like it was racing. It's like the vortex sucked it into that corner pocket like a vacuum cleaner. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I had the chance to meet Lee Brett uh, a couple weeks ago in Reno or a week ago in Reno. Wow. Sorry to interrupt, but... Uh, yeah, I see that. Wow. Big surprise. And he's got a, a book out called The Secret Art of Pool. I want you guys to check it out. Uh, there's a link. Look, Look at, at that beautiful well, shot. Well, let's just pot that five yeah. in, the, in the side, and uh, yeah. we'll just get right back into Look, shape. He's looking, he's looking mystified, too. But, you know, I... I believe he played to make that. He, the, he played it at such a speed that he wanted to make that ball. Absolutely. George kind of shrugging off and up in arms a little bit about the whole thing. Well, there goes that rack. And another one on the wire for Louis Ulrich. Yeah, oh, awesome. Great guy. That was a great kick. Great player. It's going to be a good match here. We've had a lot of good matches on this streaming table over the course of this uh, third annual Chet Edo Memorial Tournament here at uh, California Billiard Club, which has now become one of my favorite places. You, you want to move over to Mountain View? No, I'm telling you what, it's real tempting. It is nice up here. I really like it. It's got a good feel to it. I, I love the hall. I love the people, the service, the food. Absolutely. The equipment. The uh, the people here. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Beautiful break. And Lou has been putting the one ball up in that top right corner consistently. Well, and now, well, this is the second rack now that he's... Uh, pocketed the seven on the break. Looks to me like he's gonna play a safety here. Probably put the one ball, uh, what's he doing? Yeah, there you go, oh, he's going for the nine. <laughs> Is he? Okay, he's rolling his eyes, what the heck. I'm not quite sure why he did that. I mean, he could have put that one up here in this cluster of balls and sent the cue ball over to the other side of the table. Well, George is just going to take a whiff at the nine ball right now because look at the spread. Well, that's what I'm... Yeah, well, maybe that's why he went for the nine because of that cluster of balls, but I don't know. I think it would have been a little smarter to just play safe. I mean, with that, you, you could have gone for a possible uh, three, three foul opportunity with that sitting there. All right, he's looking, checking it out, scoping it out. And if you've read the Lee Brett's book, he is, uh, although he should be backed away from the table, according to Lee Brett, while he's thinking outside the box. Lots of pearls of wisdom in this book. I'm halfway through it, looking forward to finishing the rest of it. Oh, look at that. Boy, he almost made that nine. That was a great attempt. Great attempt. Well, he shrugs it off. 
brings Louie back to the table. Louie is going to play safe with this now. Well done. Actually accomplished a couple of little things. Although he ran into the little wall, of, he actually created a little bit more of a wall of balls there by what he just did. Well, this is a messy rack, so, it you know. It certainly is. Just, just no telling who's going to get what out of this. Nope. But somebody's going to figure something out. Well, basically, it's, it's you know, who's going to play the best, who, yeah, I know. who plays the best safety well, here. Well, yeah, you know? somebody's going to blink, and then it's going to be over. And, uh, you know, even coming out of this, this is one of those, let's try to create three fouls. And uh, I'd just like to welcome Robin Dodson, who just came into the chat room. Hi, Robin. Hey, Robin. Welcome. We're having a POV pool party here, the Chet Ito Third Annual Memorial in Mountain View. What a treat this has been this weekend, I'll tell you what. Uh, not only have we gotten to watch some fantastic matches all weekend long, we've had a great space uh, with which to stream in. This has been probably the most comfortable we've... Uh, <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. Look wow. at this. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I think how do you get there from here? Well, I think he's on one foul now. Well, see, that's what I was saying earlier, that, uh, that this was an opportunity for three foul. Now, Three thing, foul land. thing about this, though, is if George doesn't hit this, where do you put the ball to set up for your third foul? What, what's the shot to make the third foul happen? Think about that. I mean, uh, this is pretty yeah. lockup, the okay. safety. Okay. But I don't see a real easy way to make that third foul Well, here's happen. what I would do. I would put the, the cue ball just above... Uh, or just almost kissing the one ball. And then I would run the cue ball into the one ball, which would send it slightly over towards the five. The cue ball would go down to the end rail and then come off that uh, side rail, come back up here just on the other side of it, just where it is right now. And that's how you play it from the chair. Okay, what she said. <laughs> Don't you think? Anyway, George is going to be uh, deliberating on this for a couple more minutes, I predict. I kind of hope that he doesn't hit it because I'd like to see if Louie does what I said. Just as a test. Okay. Nope, he's not going to no, get the opportunity. He, well, you know. Now, wow. He just had the look of fed up on his face and... Uh, now, boy. it's foul number two. Well, you know why you he know, did that. I, 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 know exactly I actually think I that was a bad idea because thinking about that strategy, what is he going to do for the third foul? You see, if he just gives him the next foul, Louis going to have to be pressed to create another foul situation. Yes, but he had I don't the think he should have done all this. He had the opportunity to do it. But, but here's, my, here's what comes into play here. I see why, I know why he did that right now. He opened this up to eliminate that third foul possibility, hoping, hoping that Louis doesn't run the rest of this racket. No, but you are, you're, you're missing the point of what I'm saying. Okay. Is that it was extremely difficult for that third foul to be made because of the way the ball was lying. You can't, that setting up for that third foul would have been extremely difficult. Well, we can agree to disagree. Of course, I'm not down there on the table, so. And you are the superior player, so I will. Uh, 
I will. I'll, I'll give that one to you. How's that? All right. All right. I'll. We'll, we'll do. I'll set up a scenario with you at the house later. Yeah. There we go. No. <laughs> In the meantime, Louis Ulrich is uh, putting the squeeze on George here. At least in this rack. All righty, folks. So that's going to change the score. Louis taking a quick break. It's going to be now five games to three. Oh, yeah. Putting on the squeeze. Once again, I'd like to take a minute to thank our sponsors. POV Pool is working with PoolTracks.net to provide you guys with real-time player statistics of all of the streamed matches that you guys are watching and on the stream. Ones, yeah. yeah, and some of the uh, older ones. In fact, if you're a player who has been streamed on POV Pool more than once, there's a high likelihood that your matches will all been will all have been uh, statistized Movie. and uh, all the data collected on pooltracks.net so go and check it out Don the Statman Espinosa Don Espinosa also he's on Kamui it. tips and billiard supplies great tips great chalk great everything that's right Kamui tips Kamui chalk the gator grip that's one of my favorite little things. Have you ever touched the Gator Grip? It feels so weird. No, I haven't. It's got like this, it's just it really spongy? micro, micro molded steel teeth that, you know, are very close together and, and, and it feels like some weird kind of sandpaper. It's awesome stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I think I did. Yeah, I the gator grip. Yes, yeah, think, when, yeah, yeah, when did, John was showing you his now little box. That's right. The box. I remember the box. <laughs> what a nifty thing that was. That's I just, right. I loved that. I'm going to take it home. Just to, you know, mention to you guys again uh, that John Bertone and Kamui Tips Kamui products will be having a booth at the Super Billiards Expo. Be sure to visit the Super Billiards Expo and get your free ticket from John Bertone the flash. for the flash mob the flash that he's going to organize. Uh, more details to be released on the flash mob, uh, which is being organized by John Bertone of Kamui. Uh, and that's all I can really tell that's you about right. the that. Rest of it's a get big, your ticket for the secret. flash mob. And if you don't know what a flash mob is, like I said, go to YouTube and do a search on Flash Mob. It's actually quite a fun thing to do. You might all meet up together in Times Square and have a pillow fight. Ooh. Something like that. That sounds like fun. Yeah, all at one time. A party? If it's a party, I'm there. Yeah. I like parties. Yeah. Maybe it'll be something that'll happen when we're back here in April at the $10,000 West Coast Challenge. Oh, maybe so. Oh, good, we get to come back here. Yay. Yeah, isn't that going to be fun? And I'd like to give a big hello to the Dice Man. Dice Man 1 here in the chat room. How are you today, Dice Man? And, uh, you know, also I'd like to once again highly recommend that you get Lee Brett's book, The Secret Art of Pool. Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you, it's uh, so far I've been very, very pleased with all the tips in it. And, I, and I'm looking forward to implementing some of them in my game. That's if right. If I you could heal, get my rib healed so that I could uh, get into practice mode again. Yeah, The Secret Art of Pool. I have put the link on my... In the chat room is uh, a book you can buy on Amazon, the Kindle version, only $9.99. Look at this, look at this. Nice break. All right. Too bad uh, he's where he is uh, out on the, on the two ball here. Other than that, that was uh, three balls down on the break. 
Now, let's see if he does what I thought he should have done with the similar shot in that other rack. Put the two ball down here by the eight. Bring the cue ball back over. He looks like he's actually lining up to play the two in the side. Because I think it kind of goes in the side. No. I could be wrong uh, about I th that. I think that's a, a bad percentage. I think you're better off playing a, a safety on this. What do you do? Push? I missed it. Oh, we didn't get the chair moved over. Well, yeah, I guess we did. Hey, Lee Brett in the chat room. Lee Brett. Lee, tell them all about your book, man. Yeah, I was just talking about Lee. your book. Give up a couple secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. We got 245 people on, on the air right now. Yay. Yeah, thanks everybody. The number's been great this weekend. Lee, are you up in Canada right now, or are you are you back are you back in England? All right, still in Vegas. Well, somebody well, wanted to know why we would still need to be reading a book at our level. Are you kidding me? Well, you, I, you I learn I, all the time. I, I gotta tell you, you know, you know, Lee, Lee could help you answer that question. Absolutely. Uh, but I'll, I'll just tell you what, you know, you know, Lee is also a, a, a coach. He's coach. coached a lot of champions over the years. That's right. Uh, including Shane Van Boning, John right. Mora, helped, and others. Helped Shane in his game. Yeah, and and you know, these guys are no slouches either, but. Lee brings something to the game that a lot of people have sort of never really looked at. And he explains it really well in his book. <laughs> you know, look, $9.99, buy the book, read it, and then come back and tell me different. Yeah, boy, absolutely. All I can say is, uh, man, I loved the information in it and started using a couple of things right away and went, wow, nice. Yeah. Especially for the mental part of the game, you know, which is a very crucial point. Yeah. A lot of people miss that, uh, you know, the mechanics are mechanics. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I know Don Espinosa was asking about a hard copy of the book, Lee. You might, I don't know if Don has already gotten in touch with you, uh, but Don Espinosa of Pool tracks. Pool tracks, yeah. Would like to get a hard copy of your book, Lee. Okay, George Michaels is uh, shaking oh. his head. He's just a little, he's a little perplexed at what's happening here. And boy, Louis is giving it right back to him. Go figure. All right. Well, you know, the nerves could be starting to be getting setting in here, too. You know, we're getting down. Uh, we're whittling this field down now. Uh, yeah, we are. I'm going to actually get up and give you guys a quick uh, oh, update. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, like who's left. And uh, Actually, I'll be right back. Awesome. I'll keep you all company while Daniel's uh, getting all the info for us. Yeah, but I really do uh, urge you all to check out this book because, boy, it's, it's just chock full of uh, some really good, sound, basic advice. A lot of stuff that we forget a lot of times when we're involved in the game. You know, when you're, when you're trying to get your game uh, to a level of consistency, both physically and mentally, Anything that can help you uh, achieve that in terms of advice is a really good thing. And I can tell you, you know, I've, I've had a, 
a few different coaches, and they all bring something different to the table. And, whoa, boy, he just, uh, all right. Well, he had a chance at the out, but he did get a little funny on that eight, so. But I can tell you the, the best example of that was uh, when I was first learning how to draw, the shot, do a draw shot, and I was struggling with it for some reason. And all kinds of people were giving me, uh, you know, all the local good, good, good players where I was uh, playing were trying to give me the, tell me how to, to make this draw shot. And I'll tell you, I, I just wasn't getting it for some reason. And then one player came up to me, a good friend of mine, and he just happened to say a sentence that stuck in my head. It was an analogy about something and it, there was a one word that he used that to me was what communicated what I was supposed to be doing. And that's what made the difference. And uh, I thought, wow, isn't that fascinating? All these other people were trying to tell me how to do this, but it took this one word for it to really sink in. All right, well, boy, I'll tell you, Louis, Louis let him back in uh, on this last game here. All right, it is now just a one game difference. That was a big swing. George Michaels four versus a Louis Ulrich five. In this race to eight on the winner's side here at the Chet Ito third annual memorial tournament, California Billiard Club here in wonderful Mountain View, California. Love this place. And thank you to Kamui, our sponsor, great products. And also, of course, PoolTracks.net, the Statman Don Espinosa. Stay tuned, Daniel's uh, gonna be coming back with some updated information on who's left in this tournament. Be very interested to see who's on the winner's side and who's on the one-loss side. I know it's starting to whittle down now. Out of a great field, this uh, tournament of 101 players. Oh, somebody was asking me in the chat room what the word was on the draw. And uh, the actual word happened to be velocity. And I don't know why, but the word velocity hit a chord with me as I was uh, learning this draw shot. And all of a sudden I went, oh, I get it. I get what you're talking about here. Nobody else had used that word and they were all trying various things to get me to duplicate what I was supposed to be doing. And velocity was the word that cracked it, so. But this is why I'm saying, you know, different books and different styles and different methods of teaching and you know, you might not click with one person, but you will with another, and it's a very uh, personal, subjective thing. Somebody wanted to know what the entry for this event was, and uh, this was a $50 early bird entry fee and a $65 entry fee for the day of the event. Um, it, this is a non-handicapped race to eight double elimination, the Chet Ito. $3,000 added by Chris Swart here at California Billiard Club. And uh, of course, live stream being brought to you by us, POV, Point of View Pool. And if you're enjoying uh, the stream here, we would love to bring you a second camera someday. So hop on to povpool.com, throw us a couple of dollars through the uh, donate button. And uh, maybe we can get you some uh, more angles. All right, George uh, Michael's not happy with that shot. Attempted a safety, didn't quite get there. And here's Louie with a attempted uh, safety back. Is he gonna get there? I think he did. Well. I actually think George can see some of this one ball and definitely hit one of it, some of it. 
right now the score, I believe, is 5-4. Louis Ulrich up uh, one game over George Michaels. We got Michael Jackson playing in the background. Hall is starting to fill up even uh, more with the as we're getting down to the wire on the matches uh, out of this 101 player field. Uh, yeah, this, I don't know what somebody's talking about here in the uh, chat room, but this is the Chet Ito Memorial Tournament. Uh, has nothing, I don't know, somebody's mentioning the word Chuck and somebody is mentioning Ted. Uh, I don't know what's going on. All I know is that uh, this is the Chet Ito third annual memorial tournament. Somebody wanted to know, Water Baron's in the house, hello. Water Baron, uh, very good friend of mine from New World Billiards down my way in Los Angeles. Wants to know if Oscar Dominguez is still in, and no, he is not. Although his dad, Ernesto, is. And I believe Ernesto is still in on the winner's side. All right, well, Louie at the table. I'm sure very happy at ball in hand opportunity here. Thank you very much to Dice Man here in the chat room. He's given me some props for commentating. <laughs> I appreciate it because occasionally I get uh, people on here that are, who is that woman that talks so much? kind of gives me a complex, but I, I usually just sort of ignore and just say to myself, you know what, I'll go with the majority. Hey, uh, y'all. Oh, back in, all right. back Look, in the seat. Ken Elton in the chat room? That's oh, right. my we goodness. Where have you here. been all my life? All right, guys, so listen, we got, uh, we got some matches coming up soon. And, uh, oh, yeah, we want to know who's left. Well, next on the stream table, we're going to have Deo Alpahora versus Amar Kang. Yay, I want to see Amar again. Um, uh, Ed Ramos right now is playing John Henderson. Um, oh my goodness, I'll be right back. Okay, well you go find out. I'll be right back. Thanks for all of you coming oh. into our chat room. Actually, so I appreciate I've it. I've got a great idea too, by the way, for Lee Brett. Is Lee Brett still in the house? Uh, don't know, honey. Let's Lee Brett, make here. yourself known. Lee Brett, come out of hiding. All right, Lee. Check this out. I got a oh, great, great idea shot. for you. Great combo on that nine. Lee Brett, the pool coach extraordinaire. What you should do is. I know what you're going to say. I love it. You should have all of these streams. Uh, you can have these players send you an email. And if anybody would like to be coached by you, Send you twenty or forty dollars or whatever you want to charge them. Or we could get together and have a clinic. He you should can, call. You Ken can Elton. watch their matches. Oh, yeah, there you after go. After they've been streamed, and you can email them some commentary and some critique and coaching tips. Oh, what a you know, great for like idea! Twenty bucks. What a great idea! Or ten dollars, whatever you want to charge. Think about it. That right, is right a back. great boy. You come up with the great ideas, Daniel. That's why they pay you the. <laughs> I was going to say big bucks. He's rolling in his eyes. All right. All right. Louie has uh, taken down another rack here. Chuck's going to have to get on it because uh, I don't think Louie's going to let up at this point. 4-6. Louis Ulrich over George Michaels. On the winner's side here at the Chet Edo. Memorial Nine Ball Tournament. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to give you a little history on uh, Chet Ito. 
Chet is the one that uh, originally designed and, and came into California Billiard Club here and got it started. This used to be a, a, a car dealership. And uh, he had to fight for a year to turn this place into a pool hall. The owner of the property uh, really didn't want that to happen and thought that all kinds of undesirable things would occur should a pool hall be put in this space. And uh, Mr. Chet Ito took this guy around and showed him all of the great upscale halls in the area and got his viewpoint shifted that it, it would not be an undesirable thing for a pool hall to be built here. And finally got the go-ahead after a year of all of this. And then Chet Ito, being a nuclear engineer here in the area, applied those same engineering characteristics to building this place. And I'll tell you one thing that he really did right as we watch Louis uh, Ulrich run this rack out. The one thing that he really did right is that he surveyed the pool players and he surveyed all the owners of the pool halls and came up with the ideal pool hall and then spent five months with the architect and the design team to figure out the exact correct layout to make this a just a pool lover's dream, whether or not you're a pro level or you're just recreational. He's got it all here, and it was by design and by survey. Wonderful job they did. And just so that you know, um, also in continuation on this, the pro side area, which is separate from the more recreational, between each table, so that the player, the pro level players, are not running into one another. And he built plenty of spectator space. There's actually 3,000 square feet of spectator space so that people could come and watch, which is contrary to what one of the pool hall owners told him, that uh, he, they said, Chet, you've, you've got to have a separate room for the pros. And Chet went against that principle and said, no, we need to have a space for the pros that they want to play in, and we want people to be able to watch them. People want to watch the pro players play, which of course is completely true because these rails are lined up with spectators this whole weekend long. That place has been packed. What a great guy. Great thing that he did here. And now Chris Swart has taken this over and carried on tradition, both food wise, service wise, and uh, service wise. Fantastic. All right, so um, and Daniel's George back? Michael's taking a little break. And while that break is happening, I'm going to give you a quick update on the players that are left in this tournament. On Ooh. the winner's side, we have Kevin May is going to be playing Ernesto Dominguez. That's right, Ernesto Dominguez nice. and Kevin May still on the winner's side. Kevin May, a.k.a. Spartacus. Oh, Spartacus, yes. From England. Also, Rodney Morris uh, will be playing the winner, the winner of the match of that you're seeing now. Terrific. Either Louis Ulrich or George Michael. And this is also a winner side match, so neither of these two are going to be eliminated from the tournament if they lose. They'll be sent to the one loss side, probably to play uh, either uh, Rafael Martinez or Bryce Avila or Jason, well, Bryce Avila and Jason Williams are going to be playing each other on the one loss side. Combination Jason is still in this. Combination Jason uh, is Oh, he's on the one loss this. side, yeah. Good for him. You know, yeah. he's a fun guy. I've been talking to him outside. He's yeah. a really nice guy. Uh, currently, Ed Ramos and uh, John Henderson are, are grinding away in a match uh, right now from the one loss side. Uh, the loser of that match will be eliminated, and the winner of that match will go on to play Craig Odin, who is still on the one loss side, waiting for his next opponent. Uh, Deo Alpahora and Amar Kang are going to be the featured match on the stream table next after this match. Awesome. And Rafael Martinez is still on the one loss side waiting for his next match. He has just defeated Jose Perica. Oh, he did? Who has been knocked out of the tournament now, yes. Wow. And uh, Bryce Avila 
and Jason Williams are also scheduled to play each other. Well, we've had some big names knocked out uh, at this event. Yeah, so that's... But there's been a lot of big names here, so... Tough field. We got uh, the final 12. That's like the final 12 players, folks. And... Uh, Louis falling asleep. Falling asleep. <laughs> I don't have a player, he said. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, you know, it's already 5.28 p.m. That's amazing. It seems to me like I just got here. You know, we started at noon. It doesn't seem like it's uh, 5.28. Yeah, I know. I uh, mean, time's just been flying. Man. I started streaming at 12 o'clock. And, you know, Incredible. It's, it's just gone by really quickly. I'm almost ready for dinner. I know, huh? Well, one thing, dinner here is going to be really terrific. This place has got great food. Oh, yeah. Hats it's, off to Chris Swart, man. Man, he is, I've uh, had some real... Running a real nice joint. Real class act here. Wait a minute, is it cocktail hour already? Go Jeez. for it. Nah. Quick score update for you again. Louis on the hill against George Michaels, seven to four. And George has no shot on the two. Yeah, George in a bit of a spot here. Well. Gonna definitely have to play some kind of a safety. Well, at this point, he may just say, to heck with it, I'm just gonna go for the combo and and uh, hope I get lucky. He's looking at it. He sure got a full head of hair, and a, it's a beautiful color. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. He's just not happy with this play right now. Uh, you know, maybe he's hungry. You know, maybe it's dinner time. All right, he pockets, uh, Louis pockets this two ball, but he's been hooking himself. Um, you know, it's actually I know, that's like the third he, time he's hooked himself. He, he really has un, uncharacteristically hooked himself yeah. a number of times during this match. Uh, he'll just kick this in. Yeah, like he did the five ball, that other that other rack. Look at this. I told you. I know. Oh boy, you called it. <laughs> okay, man, you better go. We better go buy a lottery ticket. Wait a minute. Who needs to stop commentating? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's ex yeah, boy, you you did it. What a shot that was, man! <laughs> oh, poor, poor. But Louis. you know what? Just, that happens so often. He's on the hill, man. He, he it I, happens you know, he so just, often. He just kind of like he got right down there yeah, and just got right down and swung at it. He didn't. He maybe didn't he wants step to get outside the box. He didn't step outside the box, and I'll tell you what: if you get Lee Brett's book, you're going to learn all about the box. And I'll tell you what, he doesn't really want to let George back in this thing because George could catch a gear. Yeah. And uh, put some pressure on him. Well, George got a little funny here. I know he's just he's just been kind of sauntering around the table, his hands up in the up in the air. And oh, that's just George. <laughs> yeah, well, that is. He got a little ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, there he goes. He's, nope, there he doesn't go. He's yeah. down, he's up. He's yeah. down, he's up. <laughs> Says, maybe I better look at this one more time. He's in the box, out the box, in the box, out of the box. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Look at this. Great shot. I'll tell you what. Well, he's going to have to yeah, do that Yeah, he's ringing again. his hand again, you he's know. Have to do he, that again. That's exactly the same angle. He's just not... He's just not real happy with himself right now. Alex got knocked out. Um, who beat Alex, by the way? Oh, yeah. Who did beat Alex? Uh, 
He well, lost if that to Amar. Was... Yes, he lost to Amar. Oh, thank and God Santos. somebody's watching because you know what? If it happened an hour ago, I purged it from my memory banks. Uh oh! Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my God! Seven to five. Wow. It's nine ball, folks. Name of the game is nine ball. The venue is California Billiard Club. Where, you ask? Lovely Mountain View, California. A place I could easily live in. Wonderful area up here, wonderful people. Maybe I should just set up a little uh, cot in the corner of this room in here. I'll just hang. Had a great time today with um, Oscar Dominguez came in and uh, helped do some commentary for yeah. quite some time. Actually, I recommend you guys go check the archive of Arturo Rivera's match with John Henderson and listen to all of the insightful things that Oscar Dominguez had to say about the pool Absolutely. world, about his family, and about, uh, you about know, everything. Just, uh, the industry, and about everything. And also uh, some of his recent action matches and experiences that he's been having. Absolutely, because I, and, uh, I had kind of dubbed it the Oscar Dominguez uh, Chronicles. Because it just it just felt like you were getting a whole story. It's like he said uh, when you had left for break, and he said, uh, I think he said something like, I feel like everybody knows my life story now, you know? Yeah. He's a great guy. <laughs> I think we're, we're getting recruited uh, by the world PPA here to come up and live. <laughs> Mr. Bob Bolio, Mr. World PPA himself. I'll tell you what, Bob, you find you find us a reasonable house up here. Uh, maybe maybe we'll move up here, bring the fam. Look at this oh, attempt on this uh, two nine. Swing and a miss on the two nine. Yeah, and sure did. He's giving it right back to George. So. And look at this. I hope uh, I hope Louis isn't feeling stuck right now. I don't know. Maybe you know it's it's dinner time. Maybe these guys are getting hungry and it's they've been at this all uh, weekend. Yeah, I don't think that's just it. But yeah, we'll get Lee Brett. We'll all move up here. How's that? There it is. That was a. Quick there you go. Look at this. Quick game That's in the blink of an seven, eye. Seven six. George Michaels is creeping up on Louis. You know we've had a lot of matches here at this tournament uh, this weekend that have gone have uh, been very close, very close matches that have started out the other way. has a definite chance at the next two racks to close this out so absolutely he does let's it's see always what nice happens to see it's a always, hill hill match always yeah. a guess isn't it mm -hmm. <laughs> wow look at this that was a really good break one, two, three balls down. No, two balls down. Clear shot, boy. This is a wide open rack. This is this is going to be hill hill. I predict. I'll make a prediction. That was a good break. That was a really good break. I will make a prediction that this is going to be a hill hill uh, match. I bet Louis Louis sitting here going, oi, 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 oi. Wow.
And we have a match just starting just behind the streaming table here. Lagging. Very close lag. Well, we see a little uh, life coming into George's uh, facial expressions here now. Yeah. With the chance to tie this up into this uh, hill hill opportunity. Yeah, he's looking pretty focused right now. Now he's interested. It's like, hey, maybe I'm still in this. Uh, real quick, too, I'd like to thank some of the people today that have made uh, uh, donations to POV Pool. Uh, Ed Stanley Seguitan, again, has made a contribution to the POV Pool Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you all. Also, Mauricio Mariquin, the photographer, has made a contribution to POV Pool. Thank you, Mauricio, my good friend. Also, Ricky Wallage. It's tied up. Ricky Wallage. Tied up. He just comboed the nine, just like that. Uh, just Ricky like Wallage that. also went to the website and uh, made a donation to POV Pool. Awesome, guys. Wow, we so appreciate it. You have no idea. You know, anybody that's uh, watched us do the stream physically here, uh, really gets the idea. I know. I know. Spanky here in the audience understands. He's certainly not unfamiliar with streaming action mm -hmm. and what it takes. And uh, he's helped us commentate. He was. He was there helping us out at the Swanee. That's right. Also, uh, big thanks to Alicia Rodriguez, uh, Robert Ramat, Bobby Coquia. And all of those others uh, who have helped us in the Fantastic. past. Fantastic. Absolutely. Gosh, that you know, it that warms my heart. You know. Me too. And and let's say, oh boy, he did not want to do that. Scratch on the brain. He wow. he pulled. He drew that cue ball right into that side pocket, and he knows it. And he's not happy. Well, I haven't displayed it yet, but. It is Hill this Hill. Is the score. Ball in hand. Louis Ulrich. He's just got to maintain his composure. He's got a wide open rack. This is a connect the dot rack. A possible 4 9 combination. If he so chooses to end it early, or he can run out. Up to him. Got to keep the rock on the right side of the balls here. Not get too funny on any ball. And he should be out. What do you think he's going to do here, Daniel? He's got the three. Is he going to come up for the four nine? You know. Or he's going to play for I the. I think Lou is just. Well, no, he's playing a combo. I think he is. Look at that. He's grinning. Yeah, but he got weird. Uh, he did get weird. Let's let's see what happens there. You know what? He's just getting right down on this. He's not even going to think about it. He's shooting it. Oh, oh it went past in. the nine. Oh, he's Who knew? Out. He's out. Who knew? Boy, it didn't look like it from this angle. No, it really didn't. At all. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Okay, folks. This is looking like... Uh, it's going to be looking like curtains, I think, for George Michaels. But because this is the winner's side, he won't be out of it. Louis just got to, you know, keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. I don't think he will. He's a pretty cool customer. He's going to put a little left-hand draw on this ball, come right on back up for this nine, just like that. Piece of cake, he's out. George isn't even giving it to him. Going to make him shoot it. Don't blame him. There it is. There you go. George Michaels and thus ends gets another defeated. Match here. He's shaking his head. Congratulatory uh, handshake to Mr. Louis Ulrich. Yeah. And, you know, George is still in it. Exactly. And uh, big grin on uh, Louis' face. I'm sure he's very happy. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a little setup.
We'll see you in a minute, barbecue. We need to reset. All right, stay tuned, folks. Another match coming right up, right at now. Deo Alpahora versus Amar Kang. Thanks for watching Point of View Pool, povpool.com. Nice one, Louis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got it. I'm going to. I'm going to, but it's five more minutes, so. Rad.